morning everyone about quarter past nine in the morning at the minute we're out a little bit later than usual i started to have a little bit of a lie-in although he didn't really let me have too much of one but anyway it's monday it's now bank holiday monday obviously the queen's funeral will be this morning at about i think it's about 11 a.m something like that so i should be watching that one um so i've seen a couple of posts involving Shelley Finkel, the manager, or one of the managers of Jonte Wilder, where he mentioned about how Wilder, he's always liked coming to the United Kingdom. He gets like a lot of fanfare. He always gets like a lot of love over here. And he'd like to come back here again and fight. Now, that is true in the sense of when he went to Belfast, he got a lot of attention. He did, he got like a lot of selfies, a lot of, adulation when he went to Belfast, when he went to uh, the Tyson Fury, Francesco Pianetta fight. Of, of course, he'd already agreed to fight Tyson Fury for that first time. So of course they had that in-ring face off and whatever else, Paul Gascoigne was jokingly punching Wilder in the face and whatever else, <laughs> poor old Gazza. Um, so yeah, yeah, that'd be great. I mean, if you can come over to the UK and take on a Joshua, that'd be great. Joe Joyce, Daniel Dubois, Dillian White, who knows, who knows? Maybe some of the other prospects coming through, uh, you know, Fabio Wardley or um, Solomon Dacres, Fraser Clark, Stephen Robinson, Nick Campbell, whatever. Of course, Wilder, he has been to the UK before when he fought Audie Harrison. In fact, he was part of David Hay's training camp on two occasions when David Hay was supposed to take on um, Tyson Fury, of course that fight fell through um, on the two occasions. So Wilder, he's quite familiar with being over here. He did have quite a few opportunities to come over here and fight before. Um, he could have fought and should have fought um, Derek Chisora. They agreed on the fight. Frank Warren, Derek Chisora even had the press conference, if you remember that one. Wilder didn't turn up. He had some legal issues. Um, didn't he get done for some kind of uh, assault on some woman or whatever it was i forget the exact details he strangled her i think um but again at the same time you know he says he loves the uk and whatever and that's great but he did say that uk is a home the founder of the racists that's what he once said or words to that effect so does he really like the uk or there again was he saying that just as some kind of hype to uh, upset joshua I don't know, because you're saying that people only support Joshua because they don't have a great white hope. Well, now they do, Tyson Fury. And in some ways, he's kind of correct, because uh, some of them did only support Anthony Joshua because there was really nobody else at the top end. Tyson Fury comes back. There you go, a lot of them um, have jumped ship, and some of them have, have been quite subtly racist about Anthony Joshua, and you know they, they don't call him British anymore, they call him Nigerian and whatever else. But, you know what, there's plenty of fights here in the UK for Jonte Wilder if he does choose to come over here. That'd be great. Um, I mean, I wouldn't foresee it happening anytime soon. And if I had to make a guess, I don't think he'll ever fight in the UK. I don't think he will. I mean, even as champion, he had, was it, 10 title defences? Not one of them was in the UK, even though he fought Tyson Fury three times. All three of those fights had to be in the, in the United States of America. When... You would have thought at least one of them would have been in the UK, right? But no, no. Unfortunately, Wilder, he never traveled outside the United States of America, which is why I made that video before about how Wilder said that Joshua, he's a countrywide champion because he didn't defend the belt outside the UK, even though he has, of course, since on uh, two occasions defending and on one occasion uh, challenging four, so twice Saudi Arabia, once in America, uh, but Wilder, he never did. So very two-faced of him really, isn't it? But listen, it'd be great if he'd come over to the UK. He would get a lot of uh, fanfare, he would. People here in the UK, we love not just our own Brits. Listen, of course, we want our own Brits to win. Of course we do, but we do support those who come over to take on our Brits. Like when Lomachenko came over, he had a lot of fanfare. He really did when he took on uh, Luke Campbell and of course, other names in that in the past as well. Tank Davis, when he came over, he took on, uh, was it Walsh? I think it was, not it? Um, that was on a Frank Warren show. And again, Tank Davis got like a lot of uh, adulation even back then. Okay, so, yeah. I mean, hopefully Wilder does come to the UK. That'd be nice. Be good to see him over here. 
Would I go and interview him? No, of course not. I mean, I would interview him, of course I would, but would he interview me? No, of course not. But anyway, it would be nice. And I think that in America, he's just not a very popular guy. He says too much controversial stuff that upsets a lot of the Americans. He talks too much waffle. He does, but here in the UK, we know he talks waffle, but you know what? We're gonna respect him anyway. So if he wants to come over here, that'd be great. Of course, that ain't gonna be happening anytime soon. Um, you know, he's got the Rob Hellenius fight coming up on October 15th. That's in the United States of America, in New York, I think it is. Then, of course, he's going to have that fight with Andy Ruiz Jr. Providing, of course, he comes through Hellenius. No guarantees, of course, but you would certainly pick him to do that. But anyway, Deontay Wilde says he wants to come to the United Kingdom. Great. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.